Hey everybody, you are in for a treat today as this is going to be the very first Carney Crew submitted video. So phenomenal Brandy and Boston Drew, who you can find in our Discord, both were heading up to Dollywood. I really wanted to go. I couldn't squeeze it into the schedule. I really, really wanted to, but they went and they ended up taking some video and Brandy, just because she's so awesome, edited it together and I watched it and I loved it. So you are about to see that video right now. And if you ever need to know anything about Dollywood, Dollywood's an awesome place up in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Got over 50 rides and attractions, over nine coasters, over 150 acres. They've been open since 1961. It's a legit theme park. And Brandy knows way more than I do. So you can find her in our Discord, as well as she is an expert on HHN. She's an expert on Universal. And Boston Drew, who you will see in this video, is also in our Discord, also a Carney crew member. And he is also a travel agent for Disney, and I'm sure many other destinations. And you can find him in the Discord as well. So please jump in the Discord. The link is down below in the description. I can't wait to see you there. Uh, if you have any questions on anything, you can always find me at all the social medias. They'll be listed throughout the video. And speaking of the Discord, that's where you can find your merch. I'm wearing the gray sweatshirt. We have the black sweatshirt. We have tank tops, hoodies, cutoffs, t-shirts, men's and women's sizes. We got regular hats. We got the trucker hat. I'm rocking the trucker today. Everything's in the Discord. So go Boy, check it please out. Please enjoy this video and leave a comment at the end and make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hey guys, Phenomenal Brandy here. I know some of the crew wanted to see what me and Boston Drew were up to at Dollywood last Sunday and I thought I'd put this little video together for Pete. First off, the very first thing that Boston Drew wanted to do when he got into town was go to the Jurassic Jungle Boat Ride. Folks, this is an absolute cult classic of an attraction here in Pigeon Forge, and I thought the best way to show this to you was just to show you some video clips, so here they are. No, it was so crazy. Here we are Jurassic Jungle Boat Ride. Oh, that is so... Oh, no, it's He's flying away with a kid. There he goes. Here comes the big one. Here he comes. <laughs> Jurassic Jungle Boat Ride is a standalone attraction on the Strip here in Pigeon Forge. Tickets are about $20, but if you are a fan of kitschy dark rides or just general weird things, highly recommend it. Bye! After that, we headed over to the island, which is kind of like a Pigeon Forge, Disney Springs, or Icon Park. Boston Drew wanted to pick up some moonshine, so him and my husband went to Old Smokey, and I took the girls to the candy store where we found some of Pete's favorite snacks. Anybody remember when this gummy bear assaulted him on Box Den? Good times. Then after that, it wouldn't be an ABC Carney Crew meetup without hitting a brewery, so I took Boston Drew to my favorite brewery here in East Tennessee, Yeehaw Brewing. I got the Sangria Sour, him and my husband had a dunkle, it was delicious, and we got a little music on the porch outside. Now, Boston Drew stayed at Dream More Resort, which is technically on property at Dollywood. He compared it to a Dollywood version of the Grand Floridian. He sent me these few lobby photos and it is really pretty decked out for Christmas. Guys, I have to tell you, 
just for a little bit of context, this was the Sunday after Thanksgiving. The wait times were very low. The weather was absolutely perfect. It was 65 and sunny. There was a little bit of a wind advisory in the morning that then went away. Um, but due to that, lightning rod was not running in the morning. So instead of that, we opted to go take a spin on the train. Yes, Disney folks, Dollywood still has a functioning train and it is one fun ride. So here are a few clips from that. There you go in there and grab you a couple of loaves of that hot cinnamon bread. It is yummy for your tummy. Howdy folks in Craftsman's Valley, have a great day with us. Bye bye folks. And here's uh, Conductor Joshua keeping everybody safe and sound behind these Owens Farm gates. Keep the chickens fed for us, Josh. We'll be back in a little while. responsible for hand shoveling all the coal into the firebox to get us up and down this mountain. On a busy day, our engines will burn up to five tons of coal, drink about 4,000 gallons of water, and haul about four to 6,000 people on a normal day like this one. We are proud of those engines and the guys and gals that operate them, and we hope you enjoy riding behind them as much as we do. So y'all come back next spring and ride that big bear mountain coaster. One tip I have about lightning rod is if it's a priority for you, if you see it running, ride it. It goes down a lot. So as soon as we got off of the train, we saw it running, so we headed that way. All right, Boston Drew, you survived the lightning rod. Give <laughs> we're us the Drew. We're gonna do it again, but we're gonna sit in the front this time. Oh, give us the Drew review. Amazing, unbelievable. The launch up the first hill is crazy. Yeah. And then sideways. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wild. <laughs> A few other park things I want to highlight, of course, include the famous Dollywood cinnamon bread. They have an amazing arts and crafts program here, including glass blowing, make your own knife, candle dipping. We're talking way more than just a tie dye t-shirt. Um, my favorite attraction in the park that I always, always, always have to ride is called Blaze and Fury. It is a classic dark ride, kind of with a twist. Um, again, just a really, really fun ride with an old school vibe to it. There are seasonal holiday foods at Dollywood right now that are fabulous, including this gingerbread funnel cake that was so delicious. They have a new program where local food trucks come in the park as well. I tried this new pretzel one, including this pizza pretzel that was so, so, so soft and good. Many attractions at Dollywood have a very high level of theming and Mystery Mine is an excellent example of this. They have intricate backstories. They have theme songs. Mystery Mine even has an animatronic that sits out in front of the facade, which is very elaborate, to give you the story of the legend of the Mystery Mine. So here it is from the vulture himself. You know, you folks know the story of how the Mystery Mine came to be. It happened a long time ago, found accidentally by an ordinary mountain trapper named Grandpa Jack. Now, Grandpa Jack was a strange one, kind of a loner. Not surprising when you consider he hunted beaver, coon, and skunk, and smelled like all three. Nobody messed with friends. He'd eat you for breakfast. If you see him coming, better step aside. A lot of men didn't, and a lot of men died. He had one fist to hire, the other a steal if the rival don't get, uh, well, you get the idea. Lonry old Jack wasn't so ornery anymore, and thought the mine would make him rich. Re-entering the mine to get his boots, Grandpa whistled yet again. And well, sir, that was the last time anybody seen or heard from him. Another unique thing about Dollywood is they have a chapel. 
The Robert F. Thomas Chapel was named after the doctor who delivered Dolly as a baby, and it really shines at the holiday season. They have life carolers, and it's really, really festive. Good evening, and welcome to Dollywood's Smoky Mountain Christmas. We are the Candlelight Carolers, and tonight we'll be singing some beloved Christmas hymns. Feel free to sing along. Stayed and then went to check out Christmas in the Smokies, one of the seasonal entertainment offerings. Here. Dollywood is my home park, and Smoky Mountain Christmas has been a tradition for me and my family since I was a kid. I'm so thankful when I'm able to share this beautiful place with my friends as well. Thanks so much y'all for hanging out virtually with me at Dollywood for a little bit and especially thanks to Boston Drew for really coming to hang out with me at Dollywood for the whole day. I also definitely want to thank Pete for putting our wonderful Carney crew together here and I highly encourage everybody to check out our discord and to check out Pete on Patreon as well. Thanks guys everybody have a great day. <laughs>